Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to write a polynomial with the given zeros and the stated multiplicity. Um, for this particular example, we want to have a leading coefficient of 1, and we want it to be degree 3. And we know that it's degree 3 because the first zero has a multiplicity of 1, and the second zero has a multiplicity of 2. So the zeros for this one are 5 and 1. Multiplicity just is a fancy word that tells us how many times something repeats. Um, so when we write this, basically we're starting with, we know that x equals 5 and x equals 1, because those are my zeros, so the zeros are 5 and 1. And so what we're going to do is bring these to the other side. We're basically doing the opposite of solving a polynomial. So we would just write our f of x is equal to, when this comes to the other side, it would become x minus 5. Since it's multiplicity of 1, the exponent is understood to be 1 at the top. I don't have to write the 1 when it's multiplicity 1. For the second one, when I bring the 1 to the other side, it also becomes a negative. This one, because it's multiplicity 2, I have to put an exponent of 2 up here. So for this, depending upon how they want you to write the answer, if they ask you to write it in factored form, this would be your final answer. If they ask you to simplify it, that means they want it in standard form. And so what you would have to do is you would have to actually square these out. So I'm going to go through and step by step square this out so that you can see what it means to be um, in standard form. So I'm going to square this part first. I'm going to keep the x minus 5 the way that it is. Remember that x minus 1 squared really means x minus 1 times x minus 1. So if you use the shortcut, that means you square the first term, which gives me x squared. We always have twice the product of these two because I have a negative one here and a negative one here, so that would give me negative 2x. And then I would square the negative one, which would give us positive one. And then what we would have to do is we have to take each of these values here and distribute it into the other equation. So when I do this, I would get x to the third power minus 2x squared plus x, because I'm just taking x and multiplying it through. So x times x squared gives me x cubed, x times negative 2x gives me negative 2x squared, and x times 1 gives me x. And then I would do the same thing with the other value. So I would take the negative 5, and I would also distribute it to everything. So I would do negative 5 times x squared, which would give me negative 5x squared. Negative 5 times negative 2 gives me positive 10x. And then negative 5 times 1 would give me negative 5. And then to fully simplify it, um, we would write our answer f of x equals x cubed. And then I would add my x squared terms. This would give me negative 7x squared because negative 2 plus negative 5 is negative 7. We would take our x plus our 10x, which would give us 11x and then we would have the minus 5. So this would be my final answer in simplified or standard form. So depending upon what form you are required to um, write it in, if it says factored form, you leave it as is. If it says simplify or in standard form, so this would be simplified or standard form, you would put it in this form. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.